Hello and welcome back. Uh, so here we're looking at a problem with the exponential probability distribution. So this one is um, similar to the Poisson distribution. Here if you look at this problem, we're looking at the, the average number of time between customers. So uh, this follows an exponential distribution. We have the mean time between customers is six minutes. Now when we were working with the Poisson probability distribution, we had done a problem where we're looking at you know, the, the number of customers, the average number of customers per hour, or the average number of customers per 15 minutes. So our interval was time, and we were looking at a discrete variable, so the number of customers. Now we're looking at a similar problem, but we have the average number of time between customers. So now our variable is time. It's a continuous variable, so it follows an exponential probability distribution. Now, here's what our distribution looks like, something like this. We have a mean of six, I don't know, somewhere over here. Similar to the Poisson distribution, the standard deviation is always the same as the mean. And our first step in these types of problems is we need to figure out what is that cumulative probability function. So what is the function for calculating probabilities? Because as we know, this density function, that in itself doesn't give us probabilities. What gives us probabilities is calculating the area under that curve that correspond for any particular value of x. This is called the cumulative probability function, so this is giving us always those probabilities to the left of whatever value we're interested in if we want this area to the right and the upper tail, then it's one minus this lower uh, end. So let's get into our exercises. First, we need to figure out this function. And this is just a matter, you'll probably have a formula sheet or you can memorize this. e to the negative x over mu. We know mu is six, so this is just one minus e to the negative x over six. And now it's just a matter of plugging numbers into a formula. That's uh, maybe the easiest part of statistics, whoa, is just having the formula, knowing what formula to use, and throwing numbers at it. So our first problem, what is the probability that the arrival time between customers is four minutes or less? So here is our value of interest. Somewhere around here is four. We're calculating that probability that the arrival between customers is less than or equal to four. So I'm just gonna plug that into my formula. And then punch in the numbers on the calculator. Now this calculator has a funny uh, order of operations. I don't really like it much, but, but it will work. So I'm gonna go one minus, I'm gonna first put in that negative four over six and brackets, and then I'm gonna put that to the base E. And now I have uh, one minus that, so one, so 0.486. Oops, point, yeah, point, let's round it 0.49. Keep it simple, so there's 0.49. So here's the area to the left of four, this red space 0.49. Okay, part B, what's the probability that your arrival time will be more than seven minutes? So now what I'm looking for is probability that it is more than seven. And so given that this function here gives us that area under the curve to the left, here I want the area to the right. So I have to say this is gonna be one minus that probability that it is less than seven. So now I can substitute in my values. This is gonna be one minus e to the negative seven over six. And let's see, what I'm gonna do this in two steps just to avoid confusion with this silly calculator. So one minus open brackets negative seven over six to the base E equals, so that's 0.69, oops. So this is one minus 0 
because all I calculated there was that first part. Sorry, all I calculated there was this piece. And now I want to subtract that from 1. 1 minus 0.69, so 0 0.31. So now I have here, 7 is my value of interest, and I have a value here of 0.31. 0.31. What is the probability? Part C, what is the probability the arrival time is between 4 and 7? So now I'm looking at, let's make this, oops, our pink space. I want this region here. So there's different ways that we can go about calculating this, given that we already have this red area here and this green area here, it would actually be relatively be the easiest way to do it is well the whole area red plus pink plus green that whole area is equal to one so if I take one minus the red area minus the green area that will be equal to our pink area so this is going to be let's move this over here one minus point forty nine minus point thirty one and there we have it point two 0 0.20 and there we have it now the other way that we could have calculated that is ignore this for a second when we had first calculated that probability for 7 remember that was this piece here right that was the probability that it is less than 7 so that was for this region here under the curve and we had calculated that to be 0.69. So if we had also, if we had calculated 0.69 minus that red space, 0.49, that should give us exactly the same answer. 0.69 minus 0.49, there you have it, 0.2. So there we go, kind of a long way, easy way. Uh, of, of calculating that same value depending on what information you have and what the intermediate steps are building up to it. So there we have it, our probabilities uh, for the arrival time between customers at a store. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.